Hey guys, welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am at the biggest, best Dollar Tree I have seen. This is in Baker City, Oregon, and I'm going to go check out, see if they have anything new that I haven't seen, or see if I can find some of the things that I have been looking for that I haven't been able to find in my stores. So let's go check it out. I mean, you guys, look at this Christmas aisle. Oh, so exciting. So this Dollar Tree is about an hour and 45 minutes from my house, but as you can see, it is huge. It is so well stocked and it is organized and so it is well worth the drive for me to come sometimes to check it out. And look at all these stockings. They are so cute. They're not just plain stockings. They have glitter designs, they have farmhouse designs. We even have Disney, Star Wars, those are actually hats. They have buffalo check with fur and sequins. And they even have a little red truck. They have a lot of wall art and uh, photo frames that are kind of the specialty ones. I really like these. Look at all these calendars. Do you think I can find that coveted farmer's market one? We're gonna try. Well, no luck, but I did find this one that's kind of a farmhouse. It's an inspirational calendar with some really pretty designs. And they have all the buffalo check kitchen towels and pot holders and things, cups, plates. And I haven't seen these. These are cinnamon brooms, little ones. They smell really good.
and I have seen these little joy mason jars in several Dollar Trees. I picked these up last year. I added some twine and some greenery around them and put a candle in them and gave them as gifts to co-workers last year and they loved them. Here's some more of those Buffalo Check storage cubes. I did a DIY with these a couple weeks ago. I will link that video in the description box below and the card above. And they had so much makeup. I couldn't believe how much makeup they had. They had all of this and then there was a whole nother row behind me. And their crafters square aisle is well stocked, just like the rest of the store. Ooh, I see something new I haven't seen before. Look at these Little wood, like pen holders. Those are cool. Oh, and look at these, they have little galvanized plaques, little hashtag, and little word bubbles. And I haven't seen these before. These are bigger, like palette looking signs. Nice. I really like these dishes. Look how pretty this design is. Alright, we are back home now, so let me show you everything I picked up. You know I love these little box wall art signs and they are so great to craft with because they're open in the back and so I picked up some more of these. I also picked up this little gift box. I thought this was really cute. If you have seen my last couple of DIY videos, then you know that I used the lid from this in a DIY project to make a lantern. I will link that video in the description box below, just in case you missed it. I also grabbed one of these Buffalo Check chargers, and they had several styles, but I liked this one that said Deck the Halls. And I grabbed one each of the dinner plate and dessert plates from this Tis the Season set. Uh, I've done a DIY with that as well and that's in that lantern video too. And of course I can't resist a little red truck so I picked up these little miniatures and did a DIY with that also in that lantern video. Dollar Tree is the best place to pick up gift bags. I grabbed a few that caught my eye either for some DIYs that I have in mind or just to use for gift bags. I grabbed one of these round ornament signs to use for a DIY in the future. And I love these little sleigh ornaments to use in DIYs, so I grabbed a few more of these. And I will link a video that I used these in for a DIY project that I made these light up diorama boxes, and they're one of my uh, most popular DIYs. 
I thought these little lanterns were cute. I picked up a couple of these to give to my nieces and nephews. I think they will have fun with those. That is if I don't come up with some DIY project to use them for in the meantime. I picked up one of these little snowy jars that are made to hold a tea light in the top and uh, there's a DIY for this in the same video with the lantern and those plates. I also grabbed some of these cedar picks. I got them in gold and silver. I don't really have a plan for this but these are really beautiful so I'm sure that I'll be using them in some upcoming Christmas DIYs. And I couldn't resist how good this little cinnamon broom smelled, so I picked one of those up as well. And it seems like I always need some extra tape, so I grabbed a two-pack of the scotch tape. And since I used most of my dowels in that lantern DIY, I picked up some more of the 12-inch dowels. These little palette signs were a great size, so I picked up four of these. And I had to get some of these wooden pen holders. I bought, I think, six of the square ones and four of the round ones, I think, or maybe six of each. I can't remember. But uh, these are going to be great for DIYs, and the wood is just really pretty on them. They could be left natural. I also love their little wooden crates for DIYs, so I picked up several of this style as well as several of this other style that uh, looks more like a fruit crate. I also grabbed a couple of their wooden words. These are the thicker ones that stand up on their own. I picked up hello and family. They also had Smile and Happy. I did get a couple of those picture frames with the clear plastic in them and the clip. I really like these and how unique they are. And I found the floating shelves in the white. I've never seen the white. I've only seen black. So I got some of the white shelves. And I picked up a couple of these little box wall art, this one with the chicken, and then also the one that says farm to table with the little barn. I thought these were cute, and I like the size to use for DIYs. I did grab one of the oval galvanized word bubbles, as well as a couple of the Buffalo Check storage cubes. And I found some Buffalo Check placemats as well, so I grabbed a couple of those. And last but not least, I grabbed this candle. The design on it is actually cut out, and so it's three-dimensional. I think it's beautiful. It looks like a sweater. So there you have it, my Dollar Tree haul from the biggest, best Dollar Tree that I know of. And I found a lot of great things. We had a fun day just spending the day together. I know you didn't see my husband Chris in the video. He doesn't really like to be on camera. But he was with me the whole time and we just had a great time. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. Be sure to check out the links to all those DIY videos that I mentioned. Those will be in the description box below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you stick around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Yeah.